I'd like to start out with a question for all of you today. If you're fortunate enough to make a difference, any difference, big or small, why wouldn't you? Lack of time, money, drive? My definition of service is taking time out of your own life and using it to help someone else in need. Service doesn't have to be an everyday commitment or giving lots of money. Service can be as simple as spending your time once every month and volunteering at a local orphanage or retirement home, or even something as simple as bringing food to someone that's hungry. I'm here today to let you know that there is a type of service out there for each and every one of you, whether it's through volunteering, drama, uh, music, art, or even sports. Now, I'm going to start out with a little context on my life. So over the past 12 years, I've been involved with several different service activities, ranging from working with babies at an orphanage in Shanghai to teaching at a school in Arusha, Tanzania. I have loved each and every one of these activities that I've been a part of, and I am so lucky to have so many people in my life, my role models, who have helped to mold me into the person I am today. I would specifically like to point out my parents, my grandpa, and our longtime family friend, Malichi Keats. Now, here's something I want you to think about. We are all very fortunate in here today, in this room. Now, doesn't that make us obligated to do more for others? I know that all of us could be doing more. So why aren't we? Now, look around the room. How many people in here do you think are active in some type of service or volunteer work? I promise, I'm not trying to call anyone out. But if you are one of these people who are not active in some type of service or volunteer work, I want you to think to yourself about the question I asked before. If you're fortunate enough to make a difference, any difference, big or small, why wouldn't you? I believe that the reason why I'm so involved with service is not only because I've had so many amazing role models, but also because I've had so much exposure to service from a young age. I started at the age of four, joining my dad on his weekly trips to the Shanghai Orphanage. We would get up, get on a bus along with his high school students, drive out, play with the babies for a couple hours, and then afterwards we'd go out for Mexican or Thai food. It was a weekly tradition I had always looked forward to. Service just became a habit for me, part of my lifestyle. I don't know what I would be doing if I did not volunteer. Sure, I would hang out with my friends, binge watch TV shows I'm probably not supposed to, and do other normal teenage stuff. But service makes me happy. Isn't that what we're ultimately trying to achieve in our lifetimes? Finding something that makes us happy and doing it? If so, I've solved my life's puzzle. I've found my purpose. Now, I am lucky, or I'm sorry, I'm lucky to have people in my life who share the same views. There is no age requirement to do service. People from any age can start. Now, I am lucky to have people who share the same views, such as Kaylee Manfredi and Malichu Keats. Kaylee Manfredi is now seven years old, and she's been involved with service activities, both local and global. And on the other end of the spectrum is Malichu Keats. She's now 78 years old, and she's been doing service her entire life as a way to give back to the world what the world has so kindly given to her. Now, remember when I said that age plays no role in service? I brought a little more proof for those of you who still may have been a little skeptical. Well, at that moment, I would think I would uh, like to, uh, to you know, talk about Rabindranath Tagore, uh, the great uh, you know, poet, writer, and philosopher from India, who actually one time he said the following, which I believe is true. He said he was having a dream, and he saw that uh, life was a joy. And when he awake, at that moment, he realized that, in fact, service was life. And he decided to get active and take action in service, and he discovered that service is joy. This is, for me, service. Serving for me is a joy. It's a completely harmony in my being. Being myself, it wouldn't, I wouldn't think that it's worth for me to live if I, do, though, if I don't do something for others. It might be, as well as other things, um, the need to help others uh, 
in not a good situation uh, of, of who you like to be. So you bring your little bit of assistance to a minimum requirement that you can give. Very important is to be honest and to be really loving and caring for the person. This is definitely the reason. Well, the passion is part of our intrinsic makeup, but uh, uh, if you're going to talk or you're going to give them some test to read, it's not enough and it will never be perfect. Service with the students and with adults who want to help is hands-on. You got to be working with them and they have to see you. I do have the experience of having adolescents bring them to institutions and they clutch it together so they have lost, they haven't got the example. Example is in fact the service has to be hands-on. Eliminate everything will be a preamble where it will only be in writing or in words. No, hands-on, action and then the words. Please excuse my uh, style choice. I had just come from a softball tournament. But um, I believe that exposing the future generations to service from an early age is the key. I can tell you right now, there is no secret and no guide on how to get kids involved with service. All it is is pure exposure. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and have your kids, peers, friends go and fix all the world's problems. However, if you do know how to fix all the world's problems, please go ahead and do so. I'd like to thank you in advance. <laughs> now, parents, getting your child involved with service is not as hard as you may think it is, whether it's here in Bangkok or in my other home of Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Getting your kid involved with service could be something as simple as telling them to play with someone on the playground with no friends or helping grandpa or grandma pick up something they dropped on the floor. It's not hard, I promise. Now, teachers, Forcing people, forcing kids to be involved with service with consequences if they don't, that doesn't work. How many of you in this room have had success telling a teenager to go do something with consequences if they didn't? How many of those teach students afterwards came up to you, gave you a big hug and said, thank you so much, that's just what I wanted to hear? I can bet none of you. Now, I know that people who are involved with service are generally the people who have had good experiences participating in service. I know that what's happening amongst my friends is that we are required to do service and write up many reflections. The reflections are a great way for us to keep note of what we've been doing. But once it starts to feel like homework, we automatically lose interest. How many of you in this room would jump on the chance to have more work to complete in a week? I can still bet none of you. Now, it is possible to make service learning fun and exciting rather than tedious and boring. A great example is in my geography class. My teacher often links our studies to different development projects we have going on up north. This not only helps us learn more, it also shows us why we should be making a difference. Now, something that's recently been brought to my attention is that people generally aren't involved with service because it's not made readily available to them. I'm here today to offer you an opportunity to get involved, to make a change. I have a small request. You can do this alone or with a group of people. Get involved in your community or the communities around you. Getting involved can be the gateway to eventually branching out and working with different parts of the country, even different parts of the world. I can bet you, if you were to walk down to the top of Soy 15 here, you would be able to find at least three people's lives you could make a change in, three people that you could make smile. Just think about that. Thank you.